This presentation is demonstrating what the tones from a Western Electric 101 type transformers, AKA dial tone coils. There's nothing to see other than the front of the cover uh, of the coil and the rear terminals because everything's inside of a can that is not intended to be opened up and serviced. The very first one is a 101A, which is the dial tone, and then the 102A is a high tone. We'll be listening to the raw output. Generally, dial tone is controlled through a, another repeat coil, which is shown later in the video, on the selector shelf as well as some induction coils and other things for the busy tones and so forth. Please forgive the shakiness of the camera while I do this. And this is 600 modulated at 120 for the 101A. This is the front of the unit. There are three coils under this cover. Generally, you would never see these coils because the cover is covering all three of them and there's no need to access the coils behind them. The dial tones are in rectangular or square sealed boxes. And this is a Western Electric ringing and tone plant. This is a functional plant in 2023. I have two 101As and a 102 high tone coil. These are what they look like in under this cover. I'm listening to the raw output of the dial tone generator using a 425 telephone network. This is set up to be in the monitor mode, so I am not providing a uh, short termination or a telephone type termination. This is the rear of the panel that's got the 101A and the 102 on it. There's an inductor and then some control relays for a start stop operation. The coil that is on the rear of a first selector shelf, this is how the dial tone is coupled to the selectors. So the dial tone from the dial tone generator is very hot and sounds distorted for the most part. After it's gone through this coil, it is of course stepped down and sounds much better. So this is where the raw dial tone would be fed into the shelf. This video was requested into the video.